hello friend humans, Lucas Levy Keppel here, and I am back on the trail. Obviously not on my bike this time, I'm trying out this whole hiking in a kilt thing, along with a lumbar pack, I'm trying out a few things. But I'm back at Robbers Cave State Park, and isn't this view simply gorgeous? <sighs> it's been interesting coming back here, I know that the trails here are all interconnect, and so it's an easy thing to get away if need be. Unfortunately, um, just before I made the decision to head out this morning, I learned about a, a death in my congregation, um, a woman who had been a longtime member of the church and whose presence in worship has been sorely missed the past few weeks as she's been ill. Now, I'm, I'm not missing any of the preparation for the funeral or anything like that. That's gonna be down the line uh, later this month. And I was reminded of how Jesus, when he heard bad news or needed some time alone, went off into the wilderness by himself. So I'm trying to emulate that a little bit today, hoping that as I hike, um, part of my grief will be part of where I'm going and how I'm acting out here. But I plan to take in the beauty of the hike and to appreciate how God is with us every step of the way, from beginning to end and beyond. How cool is that? Go. All right. 
lots of, I don't know, campfire areas. Looks like a nice little piece of timber to sit on. Hmm. Stones here. And stones here. Oh, well, I think these are campfires. That one might be. This one doesn't look like one. I'll tell you what, not a bad location for the hammock. Let's give that a try, hey? Set up the hammock, <laughs> set up the hammock here and see how it does. Since I got into camp early and I uh, got everything set up, my pack is a lot lighter. Managed to get a little bit of water out of the uh, lake back over there, but I'm about to cross the stream here. But there's other water sources around for sure. And I thought, you know what, I'll go and explore some more. Last time I was out here at Robbers Cave State Park, I uh, <laughs> had the same thing happen. I got my hammock all set up and then had hours to go left in the day. So I'm going to go check out Cattail Pond where there's a loop from the mountain top uh, hiking trail here. We'll go exploring. I know that I've got everything set up back at the home, so I've got the place to stay for the night and that should be pretty easy. It's a beautiful day. Managed to run across some um, equestrians, four of them on horseback. How are you all? How are you all? It was nice to see Good. some other folks out here too. It's gorgeous out here. So glad to see some other folks. I wouldn't know what to do with them. <laughs> Good to see you. Happy trails. <laughs> it's hard to imagine better weather than this. For Oklahoma especially, the wind is barely blowing, and that's a rare treat. Ah, uh -huh. 
made it back to camp and the sun is going down. It's a beautiful evening out here and I'm glad. My heart is feeling much more at ease than it was this morning knowing that Jean has moved on to time eternal. I'm glad I was able to come out here and spend some time in nature. Good morning. It's maybe seven o'clock, sun's up, and it was a very, very chilly night last night. So it's my first attempt using the kilt in the hammock, and I have to say it didn't work very well. Uh, whether I used it underneath me to give me some lift, then I would feel a breeze on the top and be cold, or on top of me as a blanket, then I would be cold from underneath as the air ran underneath. Fortunately, I packed an emergency blanket, and with the two of them, I managed to stay warm enough through the night. But, whew, definitely is more for going to ground on the ground than going for ground in the air. I had hopes, but it didn't quite work the way I'd hoped. Sometimes things work out that way. The short walk today, to get back to the car, couple miles anyway. Oh, but I'm glad the sun's up and the warmth is here. It's a reminder that no matter what happens, morning always comes. There will be another time. The lake. Third named body of water that I found on this hike. Oh, look at those bluffs.
as I start the trek back to the car, came across this really cool engine house. This is where electricity was generated for the camp back in the uh, days of the CCC. And this is a Hercules engine. Company, the Hercules Engine Company went out of business in 1934, so this has been there a while. I somehow don't think the uh, propeller is going to move much at this point. But it's cool to see a little piece of history out here like this. Oh, there's a plaque on it. 120 volts or 240 volts, depending. 1200 RPM. Very neat. It looks like the uh, wooden roof they had on this building didn't last, but nevertheless, it's cool that it's still here to be able to look at. So here we are back at the start, where it all began at the equestrian camp. It's been a nice hike. Some difficult spaces up and down, and then some good flats to cruise on for a while. It's only about three miles back today, but I was glad to be able to see some of the things, the lake, the, the engine. And I was glad to be able to take this trip into the wilderness, not seeing all that many people and just being out there to contemplate and meditate and pray. But it's time to head back to civilization, so that's what I'm going to do. Thanks for tuning in and watching this episode of Keppel's Log. I hope that all is well with you, and may God be with you.